Welcome back. Now, one of the other things we can do with Amazon S3 is we can offload all of our media and images to Amazon S3 once they are uploaded to our WordPress installation. And we can do that through a WordPress plugin. We're going to click Add New again. We're then going to write in S3. And then what we're going to do is pick up WP Offload S3 Lite by clicking Install Now. We're then going to click Activate. What we will do is go to the Settings tab. We will then go to Offload S3 and then click that link. And of course, what we'll need to do first is we'll need to define AWS keys. So we'll click this link. Now, if you don't want to change the WP config file, you can actually put your keys into a form. We can click this link. And what we'll need to do, of course, is we'll need to create an IAM user. So now our tool is ready to be used now that our keys have been saved. So all you'll need to do is to scroll to the top and then begin to work inside of the menus. Now we can choose to create a brand new bucket or we can browse our existing buckets. In this case, we're going to create a new bucket. Once we have a name for the bucket, we're then going to click create new bucket. And we can basically now choose how we want the plugin to work so that when a file is being copied to our database inside of WordPress, we can have that file copied then to Amazon S3. We can also then have the files rewritten so that they will then be served from Amazon S3 instead of our server. We can also have our files removed from the server when they are uploaded. So basically we have a number of options with this plugin being able to use Amazon S3 as a partner with our WordPress website in order to manage our media files. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.